it, these snow plows tickle me. So I left the house, I met one snow plow coming. He did not bother to scrape the road. I go about a mile and a half. Yes, the library's open. I go about a mile and a half. Here he comes behind me with a snow blade down salt, just a flying. I can almost read his mind. Oh my God, there's that YouTube guy. I better clean these roads fast. There's our celeb out there. And that doesn't beat all. I get on State Route 28, quarter of a mile. Here comes two snow plows, one behind each other. Yes, they got radios, they communicate. Maybe they're not saying it, but I got, to, I got, to, <laughs> you know, I know what some people argue. Well, when I first saw him, he was not scraping the road. And you're gonna, you're gonna be people arguing with me. Well, of course, when he scrapes the road, that's automatic, that salt, that automatic salt shaker goes to work. Hey, our dear old government wastes tax dollars on other stuff. Why not waste a few more tax dollars on salt? What, a little question and answer, what kind of boss would I be? Nice but demanding. I always, I always thought this, when, when you hear of a company or a government agency going under, I always think to myself, either is either, either. Either, either, the boss is not yelling loud enough, or the boss is yelling too loud. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, don't let this fool you. In a few days, it's going to be 63 degrees. God. Maybe that'll be our painkiller, huh? Quote, unquote, 